We knew at the start of the week that Disney announced that all future Star Wars games will be grouped together under one collective banner, Lucasfilm Games. What I did not expect at all was them to start announcing projects. Yesterday, they announced an Indiana Jones game, and I will admit, I am a bit skeptical because my man just uses a whip. He got that tiny pistol, but that's it. So I'm definitely curious on how that is going to play. I thought that was gonna be the only announcement, but I guess not, because now Ubisoft Massive is also working on a brand new open world Star Wars game in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. But before we do, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with the best gaming news and breakdowns, other links in the description box below. Thank you guys. According to the news outlet Wired, the studio that created The Division, Ubisoft Massive, has started work on a brand new open world Star Wars game. Who will also be joining the team as the creative director is the crew director, Julian Geriaiti. I know the number one question that is on everyone's mind right now, which is, is this game finally going to be the follow up to Knights of the Old Republic because everyone has been fiending for that for such a long time. Personally, any Star Wars game that has a lightsaber combat system in it has got me sold. What is also interesting about this announcement is that EA will not be a part of this game. Matter of fact, this will be the first Star Wars game in 12 years that has come out and has not been developed by EA since they won the Star Wars license back in 2013. Although this partnership will still be intact. According to Lucasfilm Games VP Douglas Riley, he has said this, we're really proud of the games that we have created with EA. While we may not have a lot of details to share at the moment, we've got a number of projects underway with the talented teams at EA. Sadly, we didn't get any gameplay details besides knowing that it is going to be open world and the game will be using Massive's own Snowdrop engine. Personally, I want this game to be like Fallen Order because Respawn saved EA's ass with Star Wars games because we all know that the Battlefronts were not all that, especially the second one. Honestly, overall, EA only had one successful Star Wars game, which is Fallen Order. Battlefront 1 was good, but lacked an insane amount of content at launch. Battlefront 2, man, some bullshit with the loot boxes. Then Star Wars Squadron. Like, I'm not... No, I'm not playing that. I just loved how in Fallen Order, you actually got to visit different planets and really explore them. It was like the planets were characters themselves. Please Ubisoft, don't get lazy. In Fallen Order, there was a lot of detail that was put into every planet so that you wanted to spend time and actually come back in the future. Star Wars is always about journey and adventure. So I really hope Ubisoft Massive can really nail this. Something also to mention is Ubisoft Massive is also developing an Avatar title which was delayed into 2022 last year. Hopefully they have a handle on both of these projects that way they won't interfere with each other. In conclusion, I'm excited about this announcement. Like I said, I hope Ubisoft Massive can really nail it even though I'm not a big fan of The Division. Tell me what you guys think of this news. Are you excited? Do you think this will be a Knights of the Republic game? Let me know. As always, you already know I'm Ken Wall. Remember to like and subscribe and until next time, stay safe. Peace.